Yeah, it's amazing what grief will do to somebody and how you mentioned it triggered the bipolarism. And I think that's something that's been fascinating for me to learn because I've been actively trying to learn and get a handle just on my anxiety and my depression and, you know, my family's history with bipolarism. And the more research I do, and you realize that it could lay dormant until something triggers it, something traumatic that just cracks the human spirit and allows for that to manifest. It's just fascinating what the human mind is capable of and is, you know, how we react and respond to grief. It's something that is such a part of life, right? I mean, I think what I'm starting to see now with this conversation is is really how death and life are so interconnected and you can't escape that. It's something that you really have to face on a daily basis. And I don't mean that in a morbid way. I just mean in a, in a way of like being grateful for the little things and, and choosing your battles and, and realizing that forgiveness, sometimes forgiveness should be given quicker than we give it, depending on who you are. You know, I'm one of those people in my life where I've probably forgiven people that didn't deserve to be forgive, forgiven. So I think it kind of, there's two sides to it. There's people who are not quick to forgive. There's people who are very quick to forgive. And I think that I found in my life, because I don't like conflict, because I don't want people to be upset around me because I'm such a hyper empath. You're a soft touch. That's what you are. Yeah. Right? I hate to say it. It's true. Um, and it's, it's sort of caused me more pain. Um, you know, so you got to like find that balance of, of where forgiveness is. 